If you guys are looking for the absolute cheapest coins on the internet right now, head on over to my sponsor, AO. EAH.com. They got the cheapest coins on the market. You can get a million for under 50 bucks. Save that money. Make sure to always use code Poodle at checkout to get your additional 3% off. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm gonna be going over the brand new Team Diamond promo that just released into game now. Initially, they said yesterday it would come out anytime between noon and like 4 p.m. Eastern time. So we kind of thought it wouldn't be out at all. And then come 10:30, I'm getting ready to do a few other things. And Team Diamonds are actually live now. I'm just gonna back out to make sure everything resets a little bit there. I'm not sure like if it's coming out slowly or if it's all out, but for the most part, it all seems like it's kind of out. I mean, the players are in game, the bundles are there. Uh, it doesn't—I don't see any solos or anything yet, so I don't. Maybe they won't be solos for this. It's very possible. I mean, there's really just a team builder's objectives, which we saw yesterday. They probably would have went over anything if there were solos. But guys, before we get into the video, if you are into the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn the notification bell, give this video a big thumbs up as always, and of course, comment down below. And if you guys need any coins, head over to my sponsor and pick up some coins, guys. They're super cheap. Don't miss out um let's move on over so as far as objectives goes i'm not seeing it right now but there is going to be an objective list where you do get a free team build builder player which you can go ahead and put into the set for the team diamond card now let's head over to the marketplace and take a look at the team diamond bundle which is gonna be here 11 elite team fantasy bundle so this bundle right here is going to give you 11 elite team fantasy packs and 190 overall team diamond player as a topper now if i'm not mistaken this one of 32 pack does that just give you elites that go it's probably just give you at least that go into the, the sets 11 elite team fantasy packs and one so you should get an elite per team something like something like that 44 gold or better so there's a lot of chances to pull some good stuff here so it contains team specific packs that have 180 overall elite and 471 overall gold or better players from that team so pretty much guys if let's say you want to go ahead and actually just get a bunch of stuff done like just get a whole set done, right? You want to get the Chiefs set done, you would just go ahead and probably open up all Chiefs packs, knock everything out there. So pretty much this bundle can get you one set done, plus a 90 overall Team Diamond player as a topper. I'm not sure if you get to pick or whatnot. It looks like when it's usually like that, it's usually not a fantasy pack. It's usually random, but that is the bundle. It actually looks pretty cool. Only 8,800 points. It's not like it's not an absurd amount. It's not over 100 bucks at least. But that's going to be that. Is there anything loose in here that we can go ahead and do? Let's see what special offers. Um, I don't see anything there. Let's go see training. Anything Team Diamond related does not look like it. So that's pretty much going to be it from the storefront, I believe. So yeah, if you want to get any of the Team Diamond players, you can get the Elite Team Fantasy Pack separately as well. So if you want to go ahead and open these, these are about, give or take, six, seven bucks after the 10% off, and so on and so forth there. But let's go check out these sets, guys. If you don't know all the players, you will see them now. If not, you would have seen them on Twitter last night. Let's go over to sets. And again, some people said these players are kind of an L. I don't believe, I believe they're all good. Like none of them, they, there's not that, they're not all meta, right? But they're all good in their own right. They all have use. They're all good for theme teams, right? The Masters Dan Marino, as you guys can see here. 95 overall. That is a really high overall. 95 overall in September is super high. Powered up with a 96 is, you know, damn near 99. That's kind of crazy. Um, I wonder what they're really going to be doing this year with overalls. They'll be going above 100. I'd have to imagine they are because it is way too early to be having 95s. But Dan Marino, to do a set, guys, you need a collectible from each and every team. In the NFL, so that's an expensive set, guys. It's gonna cost them millions on millions. So good luck if you want to go ahead and take that route. The Bears got Tommy Harris. The Bengals got TJ. TJ. The Bills got Thurman Thomas. That's a cool one. Gary Zimmerman. So let's do our predictions, right? So far, guys, we got Josh Cribbs, right? So remember that we did we did predict Josh Cribbs. So that's pretty cool. And you know, if you guys want to know why I predicted Josh Cribbs, because Zerk was actually asking that. You guys ever watched the league? If you guys have never watched the league. Please go get Hulu and watch the league. One of my favorite shows of all time. It's like a fantasy football league s sitcom type show, right? Amazing show. Definitely go ahead and watch it. But anyways, there was an episode with Josh Cribbs, and I laughed every time I watched it. I was like, I'm going to guess Josh Cribbs, and it actually was him. We got to keep it to leave. Larry Wilson, Charlie Joyner for the Chargers, Derek Johnson for the Chiefs, Gary Brackett for the Colts, Billy Joe, Big Toe Dupree, tight end for the Cowboys. I really don't even know who this is. Ricky Williams for the Dolphins, which is actually kind of cool. Deuce Staley, which is a really, really good one for the Eagles. Halfback. Andre Risen, wide receiver for the Falcons. We got Charles Haley, outside linebacker for the uh, 49ers. If you guys want to see the sets, very simply, put some of the top elites, some of the top team builders into the set. And then, of course, you go ahead down. And they actually did get rid of the 88 plus thing that we saw from yesterday. Good thing they got rid of that. It was an 87 plus 80, 87 to 88 overall player, but it seems like they got rid of that. But you're gonna need all the elites pretty much from the team, so it's gonna it's gonna be you know decently priced. Phil Sims, so it'll be cheaper than others. Like for the Giants, the highest one, Saquon Barkley. 
which will actually raise the price a lot of base leads and a lot of goals will go up in price today guys if you want to go clean out your binder today would actually be the day to do something like that we got tony brackens for the jaguars aaron glenn for the jets lomas brown for the lions amon green for the packers mike rucker for the panthers kevin folk for the uh, patriots jack tatum for the raiders chris long for the rams hello dinata another prediction for us hello dinata for the ravens and we predicted jack tatum as well so we have three we have hello dinata jack tatum and we predicted Josh Cripps. That's three so far. Marquise Colston for the, uh, the Saints. Sorry. Brian Bosworth for the Seahawks. Alan Feneca for the Steelers. Bernard Pollard. Bernard Pollard for the Texans. Frank Wycheck for the Titans. Amon Rashad for the Vikings. And Brian Arakpo for the Washington football team. So that's that for that. I need a breath. That was a mouthful. So if we move on over. Again, guys, we can go check out the auction block in just a second. See if any missions have went live on this. Just, just want to check that out. Team Affinity, here we go. As you guys can see, the Team Diamond objectives are up. You go ahead and do this, and you will get your two Team Builder players Nat. So you're going to be able to go ahead and pretty much complete. You're going to be able to complete one of the uh, sets for a little bit cheaper than others. Go ahead and complete all this. You guys know the deal with that. Let's see if any solos went live for this, which will be super cool. But like I said, they didn't show any solos yesterday, so I really don't imagine there will be. Let's see what we got going on here. If we have anything that is new, I do not see anything. Nope, that's it for that. So... Let's head over to the store. Check this out. Dan Marino shouldn't be on the block for quite a while. I mean, he may be later today because it, it takes time. Like, this thing is literally time. Like, you, unless you have every card in the game for whatever reason, like if someone had every team ready to go. Otherwise, it's going to take time. I highly doubt anyone has him yet. And if you do, you got, you're sick. You're a sick human being if you have that card already. But I imagine within the next few hours, you will start seeing from Dan Marino's pop on the block, like one or two max. And then, um, you know, throughout the weeks or so, you will start seeing a lot more casually. Let's go to Team Diamond. So you can see the card, 300k. They're sitting around 300k. They're going to come down. It's a little expensive for them right now. They will come down a bit more. Um, you know, the best ones are going to be more expensive. Like, one of the best ones, guys, is Deuce Daily. I'm not going to show all the stats. Of course, you can see them over. They're gonna, it's 32 cards. It'll literally take forever. I, did, I went over half of them yesterday. On Twitter, the rest of them are there. I'll go through a few here. But I'm going to go over the ones I really like, like Deuce Daily. I will be ranking my favorite ones, actually, after this video. So if you guys want to stay tuned for that, I will be posting that later on today. Ranking my top 10 ones you do need. So you can go ahead and, you know, prioritize the ones you do. Deuce Daly is really, really good. 91 speed, 91 excel. He's the fastest back in the game. He's 5'11". He has 220 weight, which is pretty good. Uh, he has great catching. Good catching. He has good change of direction. Good stiff arm. Good juke. He has good short route running. He's just an overall really, really good back. Not bad at all. And, of course, like I said, he has a mix of everything. He even has truck and break tackle, which most receiving backs wouldn't have. About the only problem he may have is that he's a receiving back, but that's about it. Everything else here is pretty good. Uh, Charles Haley is really good, which you saw yesterday. Uh, Keep Talib is one of the newer ones that we saw got revealed last night. 90 speed, 90 excel. Um, he does get the 90 man threshold, but he doesn't. He doesn't get the zone threshold, which kind of sucks. He does get the press threshold though. Pretty good ones. I mean, overall the price is going to be expensive. I would not touch these just yet. The reason the prices are going to be more expensive than other cards as well is because to do to get these cards, you can't just pull them right. Like you know what I mean. Like you can, but like from that pack opening, the, uh, the new pack bundle. But the problem is that these cards are going to be. They're going to have a. They're going to have a floor price. Because they have, you have to buy, let's say for the 49ers, you need Kittle, Bosa, so on and so forth, right? So that, that set costs this much to do. So the card's always going to be like right here, cost-wise. So unless that, unless those players go down, that card won't come down. So these players won't move as much as you think, but I think they will come down a little bit, depending. Because if the Elite starts to go up, they'll go back up. It's going to move, but they're not going to be the cheapest cards at this moment in time. Just so you guys, you know, know that. And then, you know, the really, really cool, good ones. Like, I really like Jack Tatum, actually. I mean, he's only 89 speed. But powered up and everything, he will have a 90 speed, 92 excel. But he gets the zone above 90, the hit power above 90. He's five foot ten. I mean, a little bit on the smaller side, but he has good catching, good change of direction, good impact blocking, good block share. This card's really, really good. So I mean, there's just there's a few good cards here, and of course the good ones are probably even more expensive. I'm on green for 250, so like they're dropping down pretty fast right there. Could that be a snipe? It's possible, but they're not 300k. Hey guys, better for the video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn the notification bell if you need coins, pick up some team diamonds, go ahead and do so with my code down below. The link will be down below in the description. And but yeah, that's about it. Check out the rankings video after this one. I'm out. Peace.